six pounds, five ounces. I guess nothing comes with the baby. Yep, I guess not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. It's hair. Oh my God. Hair all over it. Ew. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's cute outfit. hair on it though. Oh my god. It's like hair everywhere. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay. That's gotta come out of this because I can't take the, the hair thing. I can't really, I'm going to have to take it out of this outfit for me to actually be able to concentrate on the actual doll itself. Because I can't concentrate with all this hair everywhere. Oh my god, there's hair on this one too. Yeah. I don't know if it's more hair or what. Okay. I don't know this is crazy of me, but I have to take it out of everything because I can't take it. I can't take the hair. I'm sorry. This is... Stepping on the black paper. Showing up anyway. Okay, I'm looking.
I just wanted to add some pictures of my new baby. I'm totally in love with his painting. I just felt like the initial reaction of the box opening, it was definitely raw and uncut, so I couldn't help my reaction. Um, the baby was covered in, I don't know what type of hair, if it was, you know, mole hair, human hair, pet hair, I don't know what it is. Um, but it, I think it kind of dimmed my experience or reaction to the baby on camera. So I did want to insert that the baby is absolutely gorgeous. The artistry is amazing. Um, this baby was not a cheap baby. It's a very high end baby. Um, it cost me probably one of the highest babies that I've bought as far as reborns. And I was just taken aback of that it for one didn't come with anything, which I am okay with babies not coming with anything, but it's just when you get that first, you know, that well, you get a baby from overseas, you kind of want those overseas things. Um, and also, I guess all I'm saying is that I just was expecting, you know, to get those little odd items that you're not able to get, you know, over here in the U.S. Um, with that box opening, but that didn't happen. But I didn't want, <laughs> I just didn't want my initial reaction to take away from the baby is absolutely beautiful. That's my point. All right, guys, so I think this is a better lighting for him so that you can see him a little bit better. Um, his details are, he has a lot of detail in his face. It's not too much in person. It's perfectly great. His texture is actually really pretty. Um, very lifelike, not too dry, not too shiny. Like, he's just per the perfect skin texture. Um, little milk bumps. He has a little bit of like, I guess you would think that's like the baby hairs, but you can't see that. It's not, it's not picking up here, but, um, I forget what you call it. Um, his hair is a little bit lighter than what it's showing up here. Let me see if I open the windows. Um, so his hair is more of a lighter brown, a little bit lighter brown. Um, then it's showing up here, but it's not too, too light. So he has a nice color brown. Um, his coloring is really nice. He's not overly red, which, you know, but he does have the newborn, you know, pinky tone a little bit to him. Um, he's modeled all over his hands and his legs. He has a dry skin effect on his hands and feet which is not overly done. It's very perfectly done, actually. Definitely on his heel. And I'm trying not to like do a lot of rubbing with him because I don't know how this stuff stays on as much. I know how to do it, so I know how it's put on. I know, I think it's pretty stable, but I just don't want to, you know, do too much to it, but let me see. I don't know if you guys can, you guys can't see that. Okay, you go down to his feet. All right. So yeah. All right. So let's let's look at that again. So like it's it's like all in the right places. Um, where you would normally see the peeling on a ba a newborn. It's like so super perfect. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> so he is like really amazing. Um definitely, definitely everything that the pictures presented. Um his hair is I haven't like flipped through it, but um not that much. I mean it lays in perfect condition, like you don't really have to do much brushing to it. And I probably won't be brushing in it, especially the little hairy forehead parts. Um, but it is like very, very soft. Like it's so super soft. And I love that. Um, but yeah, if I wanted to kind of make him a little messy, which I do like my baby's hair to be a little messy sometimes. Because I think baby's hair get a little out of whack a little bit. Um, then I would probably mess with it a little bit but not much but yeah he's so he's 
his rooting is beautiful actually it's really beautiful um very soft hair it's so soft like i don't know it just lays too so um but yeah he's just amazing <sighs> i think i almost want to keep his name jackson but i'm gonna think on it just a little longer um this is the back of his head and again it's just that he's been laying down but the rooting is I don't know if you guys can see that, but the rooting is beautiful. Um, and, you know, I just I got to remember, see which way she rooted it. So, yeah, just brush in the direction of which she rooted it and it'll lay. No, which way she went? She went that way. The hair will lay accordingly. But anyway, um, it's beautiful. So he's, see, so I'm beautiful all over. Oh my God, he is so real. <laughs> so I added a little wafer to his diaper area because I didn't want to take him apart. He's actually weighted really nice too. He has a lot of weight to him, which is what I like. And so I don't need to reweight him or anything. So he's actually really, really pretty. Let me just show you guys. I am so in love with him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I don't know. I almost want to just keep his name Jackson. But let me, let me, let me spend some time with him tonight or so. And then I will come back with a name. Um, yeah. So he was meant to be a girl but i don't see no girl in, i can't see a girl in this baby i tried my hardest and even more so in person it's just boy for me like i just there's no way i can make this a, a, a girl i mean let me see if i lay something pink against against her or him I got this little thing here that's pink. Let's see. Yeah, it just, <laughs> to me, <laughs> it just looked like it's still going to look. Let me see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me see. Can I get away with it? I, th I think. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. I still just see boy. I'm sorry. I I tried. <laughs> He's a boy. <laughs> I, I think he could be if I really wanted to, but I always see boy because I'm a boy mom. So, he's going to be my boy. Yeah. There we go. That hair is just amazing. And his hair was actually, like, just laying when he came. All... In place because she had it you know tied down I'm not sure if I am gonna share that box opening or not um, it didn't probably come across the best way um but yeah so he's gorgeous yep so I haven't really, like I said, I haven't spent a whole lot of time with him because I just literally opened him up. But he has like, the detail in him is so actually pretty subtle, like to, a, to an extent. Like some of his detail in him is very subtle. Um, it looks super bold like on camera I think sometime not saying but it looks exactly like it looks on camera if that makes sense like it's not all I'm saying is it's not overly done it's very natural her pictures are very true to life I think um he's 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 exactly like I envision him to be um based off of her pictures I think that in person, he definitely 
you know, if I would have to say, do he look better or, you know, less as nice, I would have to go with he looks better over anything else. If you want to say, if there's any difference in between the photos and real life, I would say he looks better. So, um, but honestly, I think her pictures was pretty darn close. I think she pretty much nailed it in the photos. And because she pretty much do all the same details and all her babies from what I'm seeing, um, I think, I just believe that all her babies must be look this good. <laughs> oh, cause I mean, they all look, the pictures look all the same. So it's like she does the hands and the feet and everything exactly the same. Same skin tone, mostly. I think she changed the color, the hair color sometime. But, ah, oh, he is adorable. His little lip <laughs> and his little milky thingy up there. Now, you guys know I love doing that to my baby, so. Yeah, he's, he's definitely amazing. Um, you guys can't see this part. All right, let me, um go but i just wanted to show him he is jackson the real born jackson um painted by Haley armstrong which i didn't know she's actually i think kelly dudley's prototype kelly dudley sister <laughs> i didn't know that i didn't even know she existed until i seen this baby um it was my first time but i think her work is very nice so and she was very sweet um, dealing with her. So um, I will say that. So yeah, this this is this is him. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.